Police Department with a shocking new development in the teen murder spree. A police detective investigating these heinous crimes has now gone missing. Authorities have yet to comment other than to say parents need to stay close to their teens and keep them well guarded till further notice. I'm willing to look at it. I just don't... these days just as we become dependent on our computers they're now being stalked by saboteurs the federal bureau of investigation can now hear everything you say even when your cell phone is turned off you can't control technology because it is everywhere the unabomber sent a letter to the new york times that year claiming to be a member of the freedom club they crashed his computer with a virus and used his own email to infect everyone on his friends list Security experts fear an all-out assault on computer systems around the globe. They are scrambling to come up with anti I've had seven software. different passwords, and they got them all so far. Victims of computer fraud are wondering, why is this all happening to me? Now, I know you heard that story about the special ops soldier who was captured in the Middle East and tortured because he had a government-issued cell phone. And here's an interesting new statistic. Three-quarters of all cell phones now come with global positioning the service. The were able to track his location just because he had it on. A special ops soldier infiltrates a terrorist camp, gets captured, all because his cell phone was tapped? The legislation has given the government new powers to eavesdrop on both domestic and international and communication. And supposed to feel safe? I'm leaving domestic terrorism, and I think I'm being lost. His targets were people who contribute to the industrial technological system. At the stroke of midnight, January 1st, 
2000. Elevators may stop. Heat may vanish. Y2K hackers ready to attack computers all over the place on that Friday. Stock markets around the world may suffer some form of collapse. What is the government doing with all of this technology, with all of this information? Can we trust them with it? Do we know that it isn't being hacked and used by outside forces, possibly enemies, people who want to kill us? What's that? Shut up. Just kidding. God, you're such the Little Miss Perfect student, Jesse. <sighs> yeah, whatever. So, did you get a chance to ask Michael about me? No. Dude, I don't know what to say to him. I mean, we've all been friends forever, and now suddenly you like him. Yeah, well, he wasn't exactly this hot in fourth grade, Jesse. Obviously. Wait, whatever happened to that Anthony dude that you met online? Oh my god, he turned out to be a total perv. I found out he was like 40 or something when he was claiming to be 18. Jane, you should really be careful with all the online dating stuff, dude. Seriously. Okay, this guy, Ghetto Pirate, <laughs> just sent me a picture of his you know what. You attract the weirdest men. Okay, yeah, it's official. I need to stop dating boys online. Agreed. All right, I gotta go. I'll call you tomorrow. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow at school, okay? Okay, love you. Checking off, all right? That's what I was doing. That's, that's really funny. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you jack off. You know what? The point is, Rachel, come into my room again, and I'm gonna tell mom where you keep your box of condoms, all right? Jergens, Neil. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Hi, I don't know. Hey, Michael. What's up, girl? So you ready for the game, Johnny? Of course I'm ready. What's wrong with everyone? Jeez. Oh, he's tripping today. I'll holler at you guys after class, though, all right? Hey. <laughs> oh, 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 it's the 40-year-old virgin. I'm seriously changing my phone number today. Can't say I told you so. Hey, Jesse. Oh, you should God. start. Wow, don't hey. play. I will see you in class. <laughs> I got this for you. <laughs> Thank you. I picked it down this street. <laughs> it's pretty. I'll walk you to class. How was your weekend? It's good. Yeah, just working on my car. She'll be done in a couple of weeks. Cool. Do you think when you're done, you can take me for a ride? Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. I'll take you for a ride. Privacy is something that was at one time considered sacred. But that's no longer the case. For instance, right now, right here, I would like some privacy with this class. But modern technology prevents me from doing that. <laughs> oh. hey. What the hell? My phone just like stopped working. Hey, better. How'd you do that? 
1995 at Sharper Image blocked cell phones for 50 feet. You see, there was a time when you couldn't call somebody at any time. There were no cell phones. When you went out, until you went home, you had privacy. Your messages were at your home. I have a question. Don't you think it's worth giving up some of your privacy so you can communicate with the world? That's a good point, Jessica. But what about the internet? What about my tube, your space? <laughs> and doesn't it bother you that a complete stranger can communicate with you, know what you look like, know what your favorite color is, know what movies you like to watch. All that information is out there, and for what reason? The ladies. Yeah. 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 The ladies. Yeah. Really? The ladies? Yes, indeed. And what do you do with the ladies on the internet? Everything. Nothing. You do nothing. You see, I think your generation only sees the good side of technology. But I assure you that where there is a good side, there is also a bad side, and both are out there lurking somewhere. Okay. Titties. Let's see what we got here. Berkeley. Five hours later, you're still here, huh? Well, man, I guess you just want to die again. Come to me alone. What are you doing? Did you leave your computer? I'm taking all your experience points. That's right, fine by me. The white man, go away. I have got to save my comrades. Oh, what the hell? Okay, what is this? Prove yourself a worthy opponent. You're the first link in the chain. Link? Okay. Well, that is fine. Cool, man. I'm a link. I see the chain there. Chain master, I got your text. I get it. What? What? What the? F yeah, don't don't bother knocking at all. Sorry to bother you, Mr. Personality. Will you please get up and move? Thank you. Get the f out of my room. Neil, I was just writing an email. You're sitting here playing games. I have a social life. I have people who are f***ing counting on me, oh. and my computer froze. Can I just write an email really quick, I forgot. Please? I'm sorry, but uh, no, you can't. Neil, please get up. Fine. What is this? It's a stupid chain letter. I hate those things. Every chain has a link. Every link is a life. Yeah. Uh, on, don't, please don't touch it because I'm just gonna uh, delete it. No, you don't delete these, Neil. They threaten really terrible things, and it's like, why well, take the chance? It freaks me out if I don't. Is that if, is that yeah. kind of the same thing, Rachel? Is like Susie Jo. We'll she got it, and she didn't send it off, and five hours later she's dead. Exactly. Right. And Jesse. And Johnny. And uh, Dante. Can you hold on one second? You're sending a chain letter. Can you get off my computer? Oh, no. Stop. No. You're not sending. Neil, you're not sending this. chain letters off on my account. Please. So you need to excuse yourself. Neil, off God, my I'm seat. Just, let me just Thank you very much. No, 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 no. Excuse no. you. You can leave. Yeah, you I have a phone call. That's the only reason I'm leaving right now. Oh, really? Are you sure Dante is not working out or something? Johnny's got his shirt off. You better go. If you must know, it was your doctor, Neil. He's really sorry, but um, surgery's just not an option. There's nothing they can do about your midget penis. Oh. Well, that sucks. I guess we'll just have to f a midget. Rachel. You only put four people on this stupid thing, all right? Whatever, I'm gonna put your name on it. Rachel Connors. There you go. Thanks, Dick. 
I break the chain, lose a life. Are you kidding me? They'll leave. Technology and piracy. Piracy, right? Privacy? Privacy. Privacy. Huh? You jocks just can't seem to get that one right. So we have a five page essay and yeah. a presentation. So I want it to be something creative. Do you guys have anything to contribute? Or is it just me? Break the chain, lose a life? It's pretty extreme, don't you think? Neil's dumbass. I'm surprised he isn't in here right now. Mm -hmm. I know you got one, didn't you, Dante? No, I, I don't have a phone. What? Slickness ain't got a phone? <laughs> I, I'm just not into the whole phone movement. How do you even survive without a phone? Listen to me, you need a sidekick or an iPhone or get you a rotary phone if you have to. I have a phone at home. They just buzz and they beep and they have little buttons on them and I'm just not into it, man. Regardless, you still got one. Check your computer at home. You're on the list, buddy. Oh, thank you. His ass has it. You got it. Kevin got it, too. And your ass, and your ass got it. All right. This boy ain't pressing his luck. I just delete them. As soon as I get them, poof, gone. Just like that. Like, bang! Knockdown! All right, you guys have two minutes. Two minutes to play games, because I'm going to the bathroom, okay? When I come back. And then, right, right, I'm gonna cut with the left. I uh, heard you got a letter, right? Yeah, finally. Nebraska, huh? Yeah. Hitting it hard. Find out where you're going yet? No, not yet. You know, but my, uh, my pops is hassling me about it, so hopefully soon. Hey, uh, maybe you can play for the junior college. It's gonna be good this year. Yo, I'm gonna hit this bench over here. Do it.
What? Yeah. All right, okay, all right. I'll be home in 15, okay? Yes. Goodbye. Hey, Johnny, did you get this, uh, this chain letter text from Mikey? Yeah, I got that and then I deleted it. A little intense, huh? Ooh, you're all gonna die. Lame. Delete. All right, bro, I gotta head out. Later, man. Good workout. A little more weight on there. You're looking kind of small. Chain letter. Junk mail. bad. Looks like we got injuries to the mouth, teeth missing. Crenshaw, his face is gone. What about over there? He must have been over there getting a drink and went. Makes a lot of sense the perp would blindside him. He's a big boy. Any prints from the film? We got a bunch of partial and smears. We're running him through NCIC, but don't hold your breath. Oh, jeez. Coroner says the arms appear to have been snapped off, hyperextended. What could this kid have done to bring something like this on himself? He must have been into something, Pete. Nope. Nothing so far. Everybody said he was a pretty good kid. The coach did say something interesting, though. These chains don't belong here. No one's seen them before. That's interesting. Where's this kid's locker? I'll take you. And there was no attendant, no video camera? Just a sign-in sheet. The other kid with Jones signed in, Kevin Daniels. Kids say they were workout buddies. We have officers going to his house now. You know, the odd thing is, his car is still parked out in front. Good. Anybody on it? Yep, done. Oh, damn. The kid was juicing. 
Look at this. Let's bag it. See who called him in the last 24 hours. And let me know what's going on with that Daniels kid. We need to talk to him right away. Come on. I need your help. I hope you have some answers, Detective. Not yet. Three days and your people don't have anything yet? That's my son in that box. Maybe you should figure something out before another one of these kids dies. It's my son's funeral. Show some respect. Just a few questions. Did Johnny have any enemies that you knew about? Anyone wish to do him harm? Did anything out of the ordinary happen over the past few days? No, uh, not at all. Well, if you can think of anything, call me or email me. out on a date. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. You put this up all by yourself. No, I had help. My left and my right hand. <laughs> it's, uh, it's perfect. One to ten. What do you think? I think it's an eleven. Jesse. What happened, huh? Working on it. Working on it? Working on it. Give me, give me something concrete. First base, second base. Bunt. Well, at least you didn't get hit by a pitch, right? No, it's early innings. I'm taking it slow. <laughs> well, when this is all done, you'll be hitting home runs now. This is a grand slam. Oh, easily. Mm -hmm. But when this and this is all done, you'll be a Hall of Famer, man. Okay, I'm gonna go get those jacks. All right, man, yeah, let's put this sucker up, hey, huh? Hey, beers are up here. Nothing but muscle. Jesse, how's it going? You're looking particularly ravishing today. This, this is just one of my many little projects. Uh, you want to you ride? Why don't you hop in, take a little spin. We'll go park, pump a little bit.
scared me, man. There's something leaking out of the engine. Oh, you see this? Yeah. Well, we can look at it. Kevin Daniels, the jack was still missing. They had the same friends, and they were in the same history class. What do we know about the teacher? He was a bit strange, but he cleared. He had a solid alibi for both nights. The first night, he was with his family. The night of the Trafford murder, he had a huge faculty meeting. Now, what's up with these chains and these markings? I mean, what do you think? Has the lab come up with anything new yet? Nothing new since preliminary, but they promised us something later today. I'm Mark S. Allen, topping today's stories, the ongoing investigation of the brutal killings of two students, with one student still missing, in crimes that have shocked and outraged Carlson, a town known nationwide as the technological and software communication industry capital. Investigators at prestigious Brickman High School still not releasing any information to the public for fear that it'll jeopardize this ongoing investigation. It's been one week since the brutal slayings and student athlete Kevin Daniels went missing in an unexplained twist of violence. Today, Brickman High School reopened after a few days off to let the students deal with the tragic events. Police are asking all students and parents to please come forward with any information that might help this investigation. More on that in moments. And now look at your forecast. Okay, everybody, sit down. We're on a short schedule, and we only have a few minutes. You've all had a couple of days off to deal with the tragic events that have touched the school community. And I know that most of your parents are going to the community meeting tonight. I know I'm going to go because I want my questions answered. But as for this class, right now, we have to get back on task. So. The midterm final is due on Monday. Okay, class is dismissed. Jesse, stay after class if you will. I'd like to have a few words with you. Fucking you. You want to see me? I know that you've been through a lot lately. Tragic, terrible news. So I want you to take all the time that you need with your project. You're a very good student, and I can tell that you're not yourself. OK, I don't think I need that, but thank you. If you should change your mind, let me know. I'm not much of an email person, so just call me on the phone. Jesse, if you need to talk to me for any reason at all, call me. Okay. Thank you. Okay? You have a good weekend. You too.
Mr. Bradford? Detective Crenshaw! Call some police! What are you doing? Who are you? Crenshaw. Call some police. What do you want? I'm talking to all the ranchers in the area. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? You ever use a blacksmith or a metal worker out here? Maybe even a long time ago? Everybody does. I'm looking for the person who might have made this link. Where'd you get this? You've seen this before? I have. I don't remember where. My wife didn't know. Well, can I talk to her? She's dead. I'm sorry. You better go now. If you can think of anything, I'd appreciate a call. Pressing his luck. Come on, Rach.
Rachel, it's me. I found some stuff on the internet and I'm just, I'm really scared right now. I just need you to call me back as soon as you get this, okay? I just need to know that you're okay. Call me back. Neil, where's Rachel? I can't get a hold of her. I, uh, you know what? I, I don't know, but I'm gonna take a crack at it. Uh, she's probably bawling somebody about now. Neil, come on, I'm serious right now. This is an emergency. Okay, she might be in danger. Hmm. Oh. I just called the house. Nobody picked up. Well, what do you want me to do about that? Where are your parents? Look, I don't know. They went to some benefit thing. Jesse. Can you, can I call you back, please? I'm knee deep in some action here. I need, I need to call you back. No, 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 listen, Neil, wait. Okay, just meet me at the house as soon as you can, please. I'm going there right now and I'm too scared to go alone, so just meet me there, okay? Please. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh... Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be right there.
really don't think we need a profiler on this case like that. Yes, I am. What's his name? Wiggins? Fine. Fine. Jesse, listen. I'm really sorry about your friend. I, uh, I can't imagine what you've been going through. Listen, I just want to ask you a few questions so we can figure out who's doing this. Okay. Now, what made you rush over here tonight? We all got these chain letters. Um, see? Who sent this? Hey, Essie, what's going on? Rachel's dead. What? She's dead? Jesse, can you forward this chain letter from your phone? Mm -hmm. I want you to send it to this address. And then send it to me. Here's my email. Are you sure? But then don't I have to send it to four no, people? No, no. Because in the, don't in the worry thing about is, it. I'll take care of it. Just send it to me. Taylor. Excuse me. I want you to call the lab. Tell them I'm sending a chain letter over there right now. See if they can trace it or if it matches anything we already have in the system. Right. Can either of you think of anything else that I should know about? Drugs, uh, boyfriends, enemies? Um, yeah. There was a guy she met online. He was an older guy. She wasn't freaking out, but he was sending her some weird stuff. He was texting her all the time. Okay. You ever meet this guy? Look, that's that's enough. That's yeah. enough. That's enough. Listen. Different size. Different size. If you get any more chain letters or any suspicious texts, I want you to call me right away. Send them to me. This is Stephanie. She'll take you. Jesse. Okay, son. I hope you've solved the mystery. Detective Crenshaw. And it was you, because uh, your name's on the plaques. I know who you are. Who? Wiggins. Profiles. Frank. I heard you transfer it over. How do you like it so far? Big change in New York, huh? Yeah, it's it's different, but I'm I'm adjusting to it. I've known about you for quite a while. Uh, 1996, I believe, it was mm. just the year that you broke the Browning Brother cult. It's pretty impressive. Can I ask you a question, Detective? You can ask. How'd you do it? Just instinct. <laughs> instincts. That's good. So what do your instincts tell you about this case? These chains are key. Always chains, always the same kind. Most of them are in evidence, but I, I held back a few. Mm. Yeah, a little stamp on the side, that's what you're talking about? Whatever it is, it's the key to cracking this case. Profile people, not metal. Well, somehow it reminds me of a radical group a few years back. Hold on, hold on. Keep talking. What was their name? Um, something. Uh, it was uh, about technology, uh, anti-technology. Antec. That's it? Yeah. Okay, that's it, Antec. Yeah. They were uh, apocalyptic Luddites, right? They hated computers, the internet. But well, that was a group, and I'm sure that this is the work of a single guy. Do you remember, Detective, the, um, Unabomber? Uh, Ted Kaczynski, right? Went to Yale, taught at Berkeley. He was a smart guy. He knew technology, but he hated it. And if a guy is so anti-tech, why would he, uh, 
Send emails to people. I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Why? Why would someone embrace something that they are so opposed to? Unless it's strategy. Fight fire with fire. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any sense to me. Look, I mean, look at all the good the technology has done. Breakthroughs in medicine. Instant communication all over the globe. Detectives, oh, you don't get it, do you? They don't like technology. It doesn't matter about the result or the application. They don't like technology. That's it. Please, do me a favor. Allow me to take these photos for a couple of days. You know, I got one plaque in my whole life, and they spell my name wrong. Two G's, not one. Hey, Michael. It's it's Jess. I've been doing some research on the chambers. Call me back when you get this. I'm headed home now.
do you think I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you want you, you want to tell me what this meeting is about, guys? I mean, you're not gonna stop any of these killings, Jesse. You send out five chain letters and then five pop up everywhere. I know. I know. Just listen to me, okay? There's a person behind this, and I think I know what he's doing. He's tracking us online. Tracking us how? There's a virus that I found in my phone and in the email, okay? The virus is a tracker. We all have it. Okay, that's how he knows whether or not we yeah. pass it on. You're crazy, Jesse. How could he know how? where we live? How? It's easy. Okay, everything you have is connected to a bill you pay, right? And all the companies who bill you have your addresses. It's not that hard. I never even thought about that. But why us, huh? Why us out of everybody? Because he's a psychopath, Michael. Why did Jeffrey Dahmer kill people? Why, why did O.J. slash his wife? What are you saying? What do you think I'm guys, saying? Guys, come on, come on, stop. Right? No, this is not on you guys, all right? Who, who do you think got the first message? Who did he send it to, Daniel? Me, he sent me the message, all right? I, he said it was a game, and I sent it to you guys. You know how that feels? You want to know what that... You, all right, I'll show you what that... What are you doing, man? Yeah, what are you doing? What the are you doing, I'm man? I'll show you what it's like to be in my shoes. What are you doing? What are you doing? Give me your phone. What are you doing? I sent you the message. You got it. All right, it's fine. What? Break the, ch break the chain and you will die, man. Man, he's watching us. He's watching us. You, Neil, what are you saying? Where is he? He's here. He's watching us. Look, we gotta do something now. Okay, so the way this this works is you die if you delete it, right? They ain't let us say we had 24 hours. I don't wanna die. I'm just gonna send a message to people that I hate, right? I mean, I mean, if they die, big deal. Too oh, bad. man, you're tripping right now. Just no, chill out no, for a second. Hey, I sent the message to you, didn't I? <laughs> you guys, man. Just listen to me. I know how we can pass these on, okay? And then once it's over, we just have to get rid of our phones and our email addresses, okay? Whatever. What does it matter now, huh? Sending these to me, man. I'm doing everything you want me to do. I keep sending them on. You received chain mail. What the f you want me to do? I sent out these goddamn chain letters to everyone. I no, I can't. I can't. Even, I, I, you received chain mail. Relax, man. It's gonna take. I just gotta think about what I gotta do. You received chain mail. Rachel. <laughs> you received chain mail. Alright. I, I gotta, I gotta, I, I, I gotta, I gotta. You I gotta f do something. I gotta, f I gotta f do something. He wants to f play games with me. That's what he fucking wants to do, huh? You wanna f play mail. games? You wanna play games with me? Kill my goddamn sister! Jane, delete this. Delete the message, man. Why don't you come and get me? Come and get me.
Just forward me the chain letter, forward it to me, and then change your number. Change your email address and never use those old accounts again. Crenshaw has it set up so that all the emails are going to some police computer that checks them. See, I don't feel good about this. If it doesn't work, everything's gonna fall on you. You can just trust me, okay, just send it. I'll be fine, I'll be okay, just send it. Oh, Mr. Bradford. I remembered. Used to be a place out on Ramsey Road. Wilson dead now. One of his sons went off that war. Used to supply chains for the meat packing plant. Plant went out of business. So did they. I know these are our guys. They're an old cult that grew in the 20th century. They call themselves technology terrorists. They were vocal until Y2K, and when nothing happened, they dropped out of sight. They brand themselves with barcodes to demonstrate how technology destroys individual identity. about the results or the application. They don't like technology. Technology is... MJ. They're a cult. They're a cult. They're a cult. What's his name? Wiggins? Fight fire with fire. We all got these chain letters. 
They don't like technology. Where there is a good side, there is also a bad side. Both are out there lurking somewhere. this chain letter from your phone? I want you to send it to this address. And then send it to me. So don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Can I? Hey, Jesse, it's Michael. Look, I need you to call me back as soon as possible, because I'm seriously worried about you, all right? I don't know if this whole sending the chain letter things to you was a good idea. Just call me back as soon as you get this, all right? If not, I'll be there early in the morning.
involvement in the teen murder spree. A police detective investigating these heinous crimes has now gone missing. All right, so what are you thinking? Maybe she needs more than a counselor. Jesse's gonna be fine, sweetheart. Crenshaw's gonna solve this thing. It's the best there is. And in the meantime, I promise you, she's safe. Crenshaw has it set up so that all the emails are going to some police computer that checks them.